So good evening from Blackpool, where today I'm going to be climbing one of the tallest roller coasters in the world. It's Pepsi Max, the big one. And I'm not just going to be climbing it, I'm going to be climbing various parts of the track. This experience is called Walk the Big One XL. A few weeks ago, I did Walk the Woody. If you do want to see that video, go and check it out. You can click the card in the top right corner. Um, also, a few weeks, well, last year, I did normal Walk the Big One. However, this year, brand new for 2022, they've got Walk the Big One XL. So, um, I assume that you're walking more parts of the track. Um, I believe you also get a station tour of how uh, the components of the station, how they put more trains on the track. So I'm sure we get an order of a tour from that, uh, from the managers at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But yeah, I'm really excited for this experience. So with all that said, let's head into Blackpool Pleasure Beach and let's check out what the big one XL. Is it worth nearly double the price of what the Woody? Let's go. Created and conceived by Jeffrey Thompson, O, B, E. Fifty-five. Seventy-five. One hundred. One hundred and one. This is called Safety Brakes. We have two brakes outside the station. This one's called Safety. The one that we just passed over there is called Ready Brake. Uh, the track, the rides, the whole ride speed that uh, operates in the block system. We have five blocks for this ride. We've got a station, C block, which is from, uh, from here to the brake over there, which we're about to walk up near Steeplechase. B block, which is the rest of the track to the top of the lift hill. And A block, which is the lift hill into the station. So there are five, five blocks, we've got the ready block as well, sorry. Um, and we test these every morning. As you can see here, we've got some sensors. So every morning, we'll flag the sensors to pretend that there's a train there, just to make sure that the train stops where it's supposed to. So if we're flagging a sensor here, we want to make sure that it stops in a break prior to here, so the one near Steeplechase. 75. 75. 75. 100, 101 136 172 189 200 213 235 This is one of the uh, the access platforms that we have available to us. Mainly uh, used for obviously track access, but hopefully never used for evacuations. Um, I'm sure many of you are aware, because uh, I'm sure you all come to the park, that the big one, as long as uh, as well as most rides, are affected by weather, but this one particularly by wind. Um, unfortunately, we can't run in high winds, but um, it 
can happen where we have sent a train and the winds have just suddenly picked up and that will stop the train and the train will actually stop in one of these hills so it won't make it all the way up to the next hill and it will just roll back and it will roll back into one of these platforms and this is why these platforms are here so we can get the train the guests out train has passed through here we've got a little sirening console that goes off that allows us to send the next train that means we can just know when we can send the next train um, at the minute though we are just waiting until it gets back into the next break because it gives us more time to check the train so it's easy for us better free put for you guys as well uh, but we can send it as soon as it goes through here so as soon as it plugs that last sensor there that sensor that's on the track there um, it actually gives us that siren that allows us to, to send the train Uh, just at 50 foot, this is where we do our daily routine wheel checks. So if you ever run at a park when we're on two trains, you might see a train parked here about 3 o'clock every day. Uh, don't worry, it's not broken, it's completely under our control. We'll have an operator on a lift hill speaking to the train as well. We just have, a, have to have a train parked here, whilst the other train gets inspected in the inspection pit that I mentioned earlier, just down there. We have to have that one there because obviously when it moves in, it'll be moving into the station and we can't have a train in the station or going round whilst they're checking it as well. So we'll park it on here, let the, let the operator speak to the train, come for them and uh, get them moving as soon as it's finished.
So it's the afternoon after I experienced Walk the Big One XL and I tell you what, that was a really, really good experience. Walking different brake sections um, of, the, of the Big One track, including just up there, as you can see behind me, um, alongside other places of the Big One, and then finally experiencing and going up the, the, well, the first thing that you'll experience on the Big One, which is the lift tour. I thought it was a really good experience. Even got a little Walk the Big One XL pin badge, and also you can purchase uh, additionally some exclusive merchandise that is available from the Skyforce shop uh, when you finish your experience. But overall, that was definitely worth the double the money. I think it was around about £160 uh, for the, what, the big one XL. So if you do want to experience it later on this year or next year, uh, then you can look on the official Blackpool Pleasure Beach website for all the dates and stuff like that. I'm not too sure whether they're sold out now, but I'm sure they'll be adding more dates later on this year. But overall, I was really happy with that. I got loads, uh, learned loads of information all about the big one uh, whilst experiencing this, this experience. Um, and yeah, overall, I thought it was really, really good. And there's loads of different facts that I learned on this. I mean, um, about the different wheel compounds that the big one uses, the slow wheel, and all of that. I think it was really interesting. If you are a theme park enthusiast, or you just want to have a little bit of a thrill of walking up one of the tallest roller coasters in Europe, then this experience is definitely for you. If you did enjoy the video, do consider subscribing, as I make theme park content every week for you to enjoy. And with all that said and done, thank you for watching Theme Park Enthusiast, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.